Hello everybody and welcome to round three reviews back another Hong Kong content review diving more into the kind of interesting Patrick Yao and Johnny Toe kind of ghost directed movies as talked about within the previous uh, entry uh, this one is 1927's The Odd Ones Die uh, directed by Patrick Yao but ghost directed by Johnny Goddamn Toe and this is a very interesting kind of controversy I have talked about it on, on the last video that I did it three films uh, Longest Night the odd ones uh, die in this one we're talking about and the third one which is the expected the unexpected this film stars Taki Kakashiro which is from the Fallen Angel uh, Wong Kai Wei movie uh, which is almost playing the sort of the same character kind of translated over again he, he likes playing very kind of uh, similar kind of characters very mute characters that don't really say too much it has mostly kind of attitude and kind of the cool fact it seems to work for him I um, mean you know he's a pretty good actor from what I've seen, and he definitely carries the film quite definitely for quite sure. You also have the kind of supporting character, which is Cameron Tong, which is the kind of female kind of assassin. You've got a male leading character, which is kind of a failing kind of gangster, someone owes a lot of kind of gambling debts to a lot of other gangsters. Uh, he kind of ends up winning all that money back. But however, during the middle of that, he's accepted a kind of a hitman role to basically take out someone who for a specific amount of money. And he realizes he's got all that money back, he can pay off all the gangsters, but he doesn't he kind of <laughs> starts kind of spending it and kind of you know fluctuating all over the place and he ends up kind of using some of that kind of winnings he's managed to get from the kind of you know uh, gambling he's done uh, to pay another local hitman a woman essentially in this case to basically do the job for him because he doesn't really want to go out and killing people you ever put the heat and the pressure on someone who's professional enough to do that this woman accepts the job Someone that basically doesn't look the part, someone who's very kind of shy, who's kind of like almost aggressive a little bit, someone who is very much kind of also down on her luck in the sense and she's very reluctant to kind of do it and she's kind of making excuses and, you know, you know do it yourself kind of thing. And you've got two people kind of, you know, stuck with each other that basically are a bit odd, a bit strange and don't really know what they're really doing in this kind of situation. The film itself is very strange, it's a bit of an offbeat kind of comedy, dark comedy-esque. There is some kind of... Uh, funny kind of moments in the film, especially with one of the gangsters that we doesn't like, our main leading character that gets his kind of fingers chopped off uh, twice in the film, uh, and there's a good interesting confrontation that happens the third time. So there is some kind of light bit of humour in it. It's a bit dark, obviously, in places. Um, you know, some weird kind of characters they come ac come across. Um, there's a with a weird kind of flirtatious, kind of almost romantic kind of gesture that happens between our two characters. It's not quite well developed it's not quite right you know the film itself is not the best ultimately i'd say it's a very kind of one-off kind of movie it's not something i would revisit again however i did quite enjoy it it's a nice kind of simple hour and a half film it doesn't overstay it's welcome too much it's kind of fast moving in the right places it's kind of has some unique kind of ideas that are interesting with kind of like two characters that are basically just trying to make a living or trying to just survive in this kind of you know almost kind of pre kind of handover movie in hong kong you know, characters that are just kind of desperate to kind of have status and kind of power. And, you know, you've got these two, as the title say, the odd ones, the very strange ones that are kind of just kind of weirdly stuck together. And, you know, he doesn't really say too much. So it's just down to his facial expressions and his kind of attitude, down to her kind of awkwardness and kind of, you know, her speaking her mind and kind of, you know, there's moments where she's kind of laughing and happy and there's moments where she's kind of sad and miserable and she just wants to be kind of near someone. So it's, it's an interesting kind of, you know, really odd movie. Uh, that I think doesn't quite work, but I did quite enjoy it for the most part. It's a very, um, you know, simple film, nice, simple, easy to make, put it out there, you know, make some money kind of thing on the home market. And I can see why, um, you know, this one could be a much more quieter one. I don't know if uh, Giant Terror directed most of this film or all of the film. I know this is part of his kind of ghost directed kind of movies he did. Uh, from the director so the action the violence of this film is very small very kind of personal there is some gunplay that just happened with it there's some quite surprising deaths that do happen in the film and uh, the most violent moment as mentioned is the kind of the the fingers being chopped off kind of thing there's no kind of massive blow or gore, or gore factor to it it's just kind of more close personal kind of violence with some gun shooting or some strangulation or some punching you know small bits of violence that do happen within places uh, what are your thoughts and opinions on this film please comment down below in the meantime goes down for reviews oh yeah